I bet you're already wondering what we've got going on today, and for the first time, we're making homemade candy. More specifically, we're making the rainbow gummies from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. This is my first time making gummy candy, so today's recipe comes directly from Elizabeth Merrick from Sugar Geek Show. Elizabeth's recipe is a complete knockout for creating homemade gummies that will taste exactly like gummy bears. Please go ahead and check out her blog, which I've linked below in the description because her recipes are awesome and she really understands the chemistry behind making gummies. Now, like I said, today's game is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, which just had a new version of Rescue Team released on Switch. In the game, you wake up one day as a Pokemon and help your friends battle the natural disasters wrecking your new world. Throughout your adventures, you'll come across rainbow gummies that will help make you stronger as well as the completely gold-plated DX gummies. So let's jump into this recipe and see what we can accomplish today. To start off, I'm using unflavored gelatin. This is important so that we can flavor the gummies in any way we want later on. I'm adding 44 grams or about six packets of Knox gelatin to 170 grams or six ounces of cold water. When mixing, it's important not to stir too much because we don't want to trap any air in this mixture. Once all of the gelatin is in contact with water and no dry clumps remain, we're setting this aside to bloom for about 10 minutes. While that sits, we can get our next few ingredients ready. In front of me, I have 227 grams or about one cup of white sugar, 227 grams or two thirds of a cup of light corn syrup that I've microwaved for 10 seconds so that it's easily pourable, and 27 grams or three tablespoons of sorbitol. Let's add all three of these ingredients into a medium saucepan and mix continuously while bringing up to a strong simmer. Once there, reduce the heat to medium and cook for another minute or so until the sugar is completely dissolved. Now we don't want any sugar crystals left behind or they will cause the sugar to recrystallize and ruin our gummies. So we're going to gently brush the edges of the pan above the liquid level with a little bit of water until no visible sugar crystals remain. Then we can remove the saucepan from the heat entirely and mix in our gelatin from earlier. The residual heat will melt the gelatin over a few minutes, so keep stirring until it is completely liquid. At this point, I'm adding in two teaspoons of citric acid and giving the mixture one last stir before letting it sit undisturbed for 10 minutes. During that time, bubbles and foam will rise to the top, which we can scrape out with a spoon. We're going to be mixing six different flavors of gummies, so I will then be pouring the solution through a fine mesh strainer into six almost identical bowls. And now we can start flavoring and coloring our gummies. My end goal here is to have a large rainbow gummy, so I've laid out six flavors corresponding with each color. The first here is red apple, and I'm adding about half a teaspoon of liquid flavoring and four to five drops of food safe dye before mixing thoroughly with a tiny whisk. Next up, we have orange for, well, orange, pineapple for yellow, lime for green, blueberries for blue, and lastly, grape for purple. Careful here, I added a little bit too much grape flavor. This last one ended up tasting a bit like cough syrup, but I promise the rest of them all turned out delicious. Now we can get to work on the molds. I gave myself a few different options here, but to start on any of them, I'm spraying with a little bit of oil, wiping down the excess, and then using a decorating brush to get an even coating of oil on the inside of each mold. This is especially important for some of the more complex molds, and so we'll let the gummies practically fall out when we're done setting. Then using a dropper, this one was provided with one of the molds that I got, we're going to start dripping our mixtures into the molds. Don't fill the molds all the way to the top because they will easily spill over. Fill them about 80% full, and that'll be more than enough to get full mold definition in each gummy. Since we're using a dropper, most of these will have tiny air bubbles that rise to the surface. These bubbles can be pumped with a toothpick or gently sucked back up with the use of the dropper. I'm filling each of my fruit molds with the corresponding flavors that I chose, then setting some gummy mixture aside to make the rainbow gummy and using the rest to fill a large sheet mold of little droplets. Also, here's me filling up the container that I'm using for the rainbow gummy. I didn't want all of you to miss out on the intense concentration here. And with that, we're done filling our gummy molds. This now needs to rest and solidify. 
I'm resting my molds in the fridge for at least 6 up to 24 hours. You can tell it's the next day because I've got a different shirt on and we're ready to take the gummies out of their molds. These fruit gummies came out without any issue and the tiny gumdrops make for the most delightful rainbow rain. Last up is to make the large jelly bean shaped gummies from the game. Since I could not find a mold that was quite what I needed, I chose to fill a small glass with rainbow layers. Running the glass under hot water and using a paring knife to gently ease out the giant gummy worked well and all that's left is to carve this into the shape that I wanted. Make sure while you're carving bits off to take plenty of snacks to make this tedious process a little bit easier. Then we're using edible gold leaf along with some bamboo tweezers and a decorating brush to completely gold plate the DX gummy. Now would I suggest doing this at home? No way! Using the molds is way more practical and your homemade candy will look leagues better. But this was quite a journey to get a game accurate rainbow and DX gummy and that made this all well worth it. Look at the final product we got. The DX gummy is sure to raise your stats. These gummies were tons of fun to make and turned out absolutely amazing. Not only do they taste like quality gummy candy, but they really managed to capture the texture of professional gummies. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you'll know when my newest videos come out. And again, please check out the link below for Elizabeth Merrick's blog where she dives deeper into the science behind making this treat and how to modify it if you don't want to use some of the more unique ingredients. As always, if you enjoyed this content, then check out my other socials for more of Maverick's Kitchen. I stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, playing new games and looking for inspiration for new videos. My Instagram is chock full of tasty treats like this one and weekly cooking adventures. I hope to see you next week.